Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, Dan P. back. I know I've been quiet for a little while. Last time you heard from me, I was starting an, um, a really big auction of some of my stuff. Um, all the big stuff sold. So as you can see, I got several cards missing. Um, and it, I was a little disappointed in the sales. I probably felt like I probably got like 90% of what I was hoping to get. And I still have to pay the fees, so that's going to hurt too. But anyways, um, and I just got back from Lake Arrowhead. I was up there all week for the 4th. But before I left, I, I made a purchase. So, like I said, um, I was selling... Maybe maybe you know what it is if you caught a peek of that. I was talking about um, selling some of my stuff and buying more high-end cards. Um, so I'm just, I'm just going to get right to it and then talk about it. It's a 1975 Topps George Brett, near mint to mint 8. High-end vintage. I see a lot of people throwing around the term high-end on YouTube and other places and I, I don't really know what they're where they're going with that um, I kind of feel like high-end should be reserved for a specific category of cards uh, not necessarily expensive because you know w what is expensive but to me, high end pretty much means that it it sells it, it typically sells more than book value, and in this case, uh, near mint to mint eight of this vintage, I consider a high end card. So this is what I want my collection to be: um, more eights and nines, at least sevens. When it comes to vintage, there's the back. And, uh, I already have the uh, in my case. I'm pointing to the Robin Yount 75 tops. That's also an eight. So this goes well with that. Anyways. Uh, kind of tough to get card, high-end condition, George Brett rookie. I have some more cards that I want, but in this class they're a little bit more difficult to get for the right price. So just uh, stay tuned for a more high-end vintage to be rolling in. See you guys.